Now these bodies that we have are very, very unique kinds of things in the world. It's not a rock, it's not a cloud, and it's not a chicken's egg. It's, it's this fetus that requires nine months of gestation and a lot of attention and care and protection because when the mother is pregnant with the new one that's coming out, it's a very vulnerable time and afterwards the vulnerability is incredible. In fact, when you finally get one that is disconnected from your mom, it's like one of the worst days of your life. <laughs> or maybe the best. Like, ah! Nobody comes in and goes, I'm so happy to be here. Every single human being that has ever been or ever will be is going to go through this. What a way. Welcome to the party. And you know what? Every single being that has ever been here or will ever be here is also going to go through this. True? Right? We have these brilliant, miraculous, extraordinary periods of time between this one and this one. And that's called being an alive human being. Wow. Wow. Wow, you know when you see on a graveyard like born here, died here, and in between is this dash between the two numbers? You're living the dash. Yeah. Now, these biologies that we have, not just mine but yours too, are kind of fragile. Like if you go out where it's really rough sea and you're on a boat, you're Maldivians, you understand this, you're going to find that there are life preservers on the boat, true? every single time. Why? Because if we take your biology and we put it somewhere where it's not already cared for, protected, and saved, it could get killed. So we need to, we need to protect it. And like when they're, when they're little ones, you know, children we call them, right? You got to give them that extra layer of protection. Like don't go outside without your boots on, right? I want to jump in the puddle. No, we got to keep, right? And as we start living together in societies, then we realize that not everybody is all switched on to this sense of love and care and service and like, no, I'm going to rip you off, okay? So we still have security built in because our biologies are vulnerable. So vulnerable that we have traditions and industries and mechanisms. And excuse me, weren't you glad that they collected some money from your company so that there could be a public hospital? Sir? Sir? Yeah, he, he's going, I wonder who he's talking to. <laughs> yeah, think about it. Anybody who you ever knew who fell, got hit in a car accident, broke a bone, got burned in a stove, you know, whatever, and ended up in a healthcare facility, weren't you glad it was there? Yeah. And in my work with the hospital, I'm seeing some of the most incredible stuff that you could possibly imagine that there are incredibly smart human beings with extraordinarily expensive specialized machinery and equipment who sit standing waiting 24 hours a day just in case you need it and give in the societies in which we live every day somebody needs it and by the way when you need it is not the time when they say excuse me do you have the money you need to pay for this no, because fortunately they've collected some taxes. Now, of course, human beings also want to be comfortable. We like the pleasure. We want the hot tub. You know, you'd like that nice massage, somebody to rub my feet. Uh, uh. And we have to keep fueling these bodies, don't we? So, you know, you want that extra food. Like the catering outside, how was it? Can we give them a clap? Come on, give them a clap. Give them a big clap. What did they do that for? I mean, I've been at events where two little cookies, that's it. But what did you guys have? You had cookies, you had muffins, you had coffee, you had tea. You had sandwiches, you had tuna sandwiches, you had cheese sandwiches, right? You had fruit, you had oranges, you had apples. Oh my God. Now you could say, oh, they were just trying to create value by performing service. But I think that they probably cared about you. And so they cared about your well-being. And in this particular instance, the well-being that they were caring about was your biology. You needed to have some nutrition, some vitamin, some sugar, some energy, and some liquid. And you know what? Tonight you can get some more of this. Thanks for watching this video. Your dedication to serving better and caring more makes the world a better place for everyone. 
For more uplifting ideas, practical insights, and free resources, please subscribe now.